Hi, I'm Vanessa Bright. I'm a psychoanalyst and I'm doing this video series to talk about some of the aspects of psychotherapy and psychoanalytic work in particular that I think are important that um, a lot of people don't know about. Um, and so this particular video I'd like to talk about uh, actually finding a therapist um, or an analyst. And, um, you know, there are tens of thousands of therapists out there. You go on Psychology Today, there's, you know, probably 20 pages of in just one or two zip codes. And how do you pick one? And every profile seems to say the same thing. You know, I can help you. I'm trained in this or that modality. You know, what do you do? And so um, one thing I'm going to really emphasize is that you go with your gut. You start there and you look at people's websites. They're usually more expressive and have more about the therapist than their psychology today, whatever other online profile that uh, you know you find on them. And one really, really important thing to do is to, when you find somebody online that seems interesting or has sort of writes well about themselves or you know their approach seems interesting is that you really go and see them in person um, otherwise you're just imagining what it would be like with someone and it's nothing like you imagine it's never like you imagine I cannot emphasize this enough uh, you need to go see that person in person that person in person <laughs> No, that was right. Um, and see what it's really like with them. And the thing that you're really looking for is, do you feel comfortable in that person's presence? Doesn't matter what their credentials are. They could be a PhD. They could be a, a you know, a mental health um, trainee. It doesn't really matter. What really matters is how you feel with that person and if in that first interview uh, you already feel like this is productive we're already getting somewhere this is kind of important and then you feel free to keep going that's a good sign that that you're you know that you're on the right track um, you should feel free to ask questions you know about that person's approach or kind of you know how they think that you're going to get from a to b um, it is a process. M most therapists work, um, you know, it's, it's not like they give you a cure and you're done. And if it were like that, I, I just don't trust that. Um, you know, you may want to research what kind of therapy they do, but, um, you know, and that may be really important. Some people really want to work um, you know, with DBT or some people really want CBT, some people really want hypnosis, some people really want yoga therapy. There's so many different types. Um, I work psychoanalytically, so that means I go to the depths of people's issues and really getting to the roots of things, um, listening very deeply to how you associate, to how you feel about yourself, to how you relate to yourself. So that's a very, very different approach and one that you may really want or one that you may not want. You may really want homework and, um, you know, worksheets and, and things like that. And that's okay if that's what you really want. Um, the important thing is that you really feel safe uh, with what, whoever, whoever it is that you wind up seeing. And um, if you don't, if you feel like it's weird, if you feel like they're sort of distant or um, kind of too reserved, you know, say something about that while you're seeing that person. Don't just assume that that's, well, that's just what they're like. You know, you could say it's, you know, you're being kind of quiet, I really want more feedback, or tell me what you're thinking, or whatever it is. You know, make your needs known to that person, but also see just what it's like in your gut, in your belly, in somewhere, in your body. Do you feel safe on some basic level? Um, because some people may like the silence. Some people really like that space of, you know, I just want you to listen and, and pay attention, but I need the space to talk this through myself. And other people may need a lot more 
questioning or you know feedback you know it sounds like you're saying this or it sounds like you're not saying this it sounds like you're you know whatever it is um, so everybody's different and every therapist is different and you're gonna want a good fit there and this may sound kind of contradictory but give it a chance I mean if you're really feeling like it's weird or it's just wrong wrong you'll know but if it's you're kind of not sure it's like you're it's kind of productive and it's good but it's a little bit awkward give that a chance because therapy really is a different kind of relationship we're not used to relating to people in it just out there in the world um, the way that that you know ther the therapy relationship really works and so if it's just a little bit like you're not sure like why is this person so quiet and you know I'm not used to talking about myself so much or I'm not really used to like going to all the deep stuff that's you know coming up um, I would say give it a chance and if you're like if it seems to be good but you're not sure um, you know you're allowed to say I want to try a session or two before I commit and so that you know I think that should be fine um, I don't think you're you know you're you should be required to just immediately sign on for uh, you know a course or, or a long-term thing you know make that clear you know this seems good I really want to try a session or two uh, you know more meaning beyond that consultation um, you know to see if this is a really good fit for me and then the other thing which a lot of people kind of have a hard time doing is you might try two or three therapists meet with two, two or three different kinds of people see what it feels like with two or different two or three different kinds of you know modalities um, you know one you may be surprised you you know one person may work you know in a modality that you really kind of don't know but it, you know it's interesting or somebody has you know some sort of slant that um, you've never heard of or whatever and it's it kind of intrigues you and maybe surprises you and it's worth um, exploring and you can tell each of those people you know I'm interviewing therapists you are hiring someone to help you and you really deserve to find someone someone that really really fits you well it's just so important it's such a huge decision that you're undertaking it's not easy and I really do wish it were simpler um, part of the reason I'm doing these video series is to make it a little bit simpler because I think that you know regardless of what I'm actually saying you get to see you know what I'm like and there are a lot of therapists actually out there who are making videos for their websites for that particular reason so that you know you already have a sense of you know what it's like what that person is like now in sessions you know where I work I don't talk this much <laughs> obviously it's a video it's one-sided you're watching me um, but you know you do get to have a sense of, of what I'm like and um, I'm really not doing this to get you to see me um, of course I you know I welcome it and uh, I, I do really love this work um, but the purpose of this particular video is is so that you can kind of have a sense of how to go about finding someone you know you start with psychology today and then you kind of work your way using your your intuition and your sense of um, you know how you know what it's like with each particular person um, but um, it's it's work worth doing therapy is work worth doing finding the right therapist is step one I hope you found this helpful if you did if you have questions feel free to contact me um, and I wish you um, good luck in your search thank you